The last five years before you retire, that is crucial territory. How do you master those last five years? I got that and more coming up. My name is Mike Bernardo, the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. The last five years before you retire is typically make or break. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not overdoing it. I, obviously, in order to retire, this is the financial goal that takes the longest amount of time for you to save up for and prepare for. But those last five years is really when you're putting the finishing touches and it, it helps you get over the hump with confidence or if you take your eye off the ball, lose focus, it can actually cost you thousands of dollars, if not even some of your retirement, right? It could delay your retirement. So in those last five years, this retirement red zone, what are the things that you need to do to master those last five years and put yourself on the right path to succeed in retirement. First, you need to get into a habit in those last five years of updating your financial plan, your retirement projection, your retirement plan, at least annually. Now, if you've made it to the, to the last five years before you retire and you haven't built out that five-factor retirement plan, you need to stop this video right now and you need to go call a CFP and, and, and build out that five-factor retirement plan because you are not able to confidently step into retirement until you've built out that plan. There's five factors that all kind of help determine whether you are on path for a, for a confident retirement or not, what age you wanna be done, what are your spending habits, what do you plan on spending, inflation, Medicare, all those sorts of things. What are your income sources? How do you strategize for Social Security? How much do you have saved up? How much will you, will you continue to be saving between now and retirement? How much do you need to save? And then how much risk are you taking? Those are the five factors. They're all interrelated. You can't make a decision in one without it impacting the other. You should start building out that five-factor retirement plan in your 40s or, or certainly early on in your career, midpoint of your career. So by the time you get five years out or within the five years of retirement, you should already have that built. And really then it should be established in an annual habit of updating each of those variables, each of those five factors to then determine, am I still on track? Am I still on track? Am I still on track? In doing so, when you're within five years of retirement, you have a better sense of saying, okay, but wait a second, what would it look like if we spent a little bit more? What would it look like if we delayed Social Security? What would it look like? And so some of those trade-offs, some of those what-ifs, you can recalibrate to better shape your expectations of what retirement's really gonna look like and so that you have even more confidence that you're prepared no matter what's ahead. Second, within these five years before retirement, you need to up the ante on saving aggressively. I can't tell you how many times as we're meeting with folks and, and they're saving up for retirement, we're asking how much are you saving and so on and say, yeah, we're maxing out the 401k or we're contributing 15% or whatever it is, but they're within a few years of, uh, of retiring and we raise the bar. They are either just recently empty nesters or at that stage, maybe they're paying the mortgage off or some expenses are starting to burn off. And when you raise the bar, when you say, you know what, what if you increase your retirement contributions to 20% or I know you're not maxing that Roth IRA, but what if in these last few years before you retire, we set a goal of maxing out that, that Roth IRA every single year. And in these last few years, these last five years before retirement, that empty nester stage for many people, oftentimes with the right coaching, they can take that savings up a notch and all of a sudden it just gives you that much more freedom and flexibility once you do get to retirement because you've, you've amped up your savings in those last few years. Third, in those final few years before you retire, you need to recalibrate your investment strategies, your long-term investment strategies that not only can help get you to retirement with confidence, but through retirement with confidence. One of the biggest financial mistakes, retirement mistakes that people make is near retirement, either just before or just after, people's knees start shaking when we see a stock market decline. They start thinking, and, and I get it because I, I've ex experienced this. If my investments go down 15%, I can't afford to retire. All of a sudden, everything that you've been saving up for and you understand, yeah, stocks and investments go up and down, but they're for the long term. All of a sudden, when you're right there on the doorstep, it feels even more real and feels like 
I can't subject myself to those downturns and therefore I have to stop the ability for the, the upside as well. No, 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 recalibrate your investment approach. And typically for us, we call it a personal pension plan. You're gonna to wanna to align your investment strategies for the timeline as to when you're gonna need the dollars. Within five years of retirement, it's not too soon to, to start thinking, well, these are the dollars that we're gonna use first five years from now, and let's start having those in investment instruments that are appropriate for touching them within five years. And then these are the dollars we'll need shortly after that. And then these are all the dollars that we're not gonna need for 10 plus years. Let's keep those uh, invested for the long term. And then as you get closer and closer to retirement, continuing to recalibrate and update that personal pension plan so that your investment strategies are aligned to when you're gonna need the dollars. That directly connects to the fourth thing that you need to do in this retirement red zone is you need to start planning to optimize social security. What is your income strategy? You don't need to define it and set it in stone five years before re retirement, but in working with your CFP, who's built out that five factor retirement plan, who's looking at your entire comprehensive financial life, they're gonna help look and, and or help you structure, here's where it looks like income's going to be coming from, and that's going to feed into that investment allocation that I just mentioned and feed into, all right, what's the plan with social security? So you're not setting it in stone, you're not making a decision and, and we're not wavering off of this, but you're building out those initial assumptions, that initial strategy for where income's gonna come from, how you're gonna optimize Social Security, and that will feed into your investment allocation. Next, within five years of retirement, you're gonna wanna start learning about Medicare. Yes, you can't sign up for Medicare until you turn age 65. And if you plan to retire at 62, then you might have uh, some, you know, some, some more years left, some more time left. You might be retiring at 66, and therefore, as soon as you retire, you'll be going on to Medicare. Either way, within five years of retirement, you need to start having those conversations so that you can start planning ahead. Well, what's my big, what's the big decision? Most people think, well, Medicare is one thing. No, it's multiple things. One word can mean very different things. You have traditional Medicare, part A, B, D, and a supplement, or you're gonna go Medicare Part C, Medicare Advantage. Those have very different cost structures, both in the monthly premium, but also in the copay and the deductibles, and therefore it's a very, very big decision. Within five years of retirement, you wanna start getting the understanding of what those choices are and which one might make the most sense for you so that within a year of retirement, you're not starting your education at that point and trying to figure out and then potentially making a rush decision. If you're retiring before age 65, starting the health insurance discussion within five years of retirement makes a lot of sense as well. What are we gonna do for health insurance before we're on Medicare? So within that retirement red zone, those, those final five years, starting that discussion about what you're gonna do with Medicare, what your health insurance is gonna look like in retirement. And then sixth, in the five years, right before you retire, you've got to calibrate and identify what your tax strategy is going to be, both in these final years of your career, but then also into retirement. Within the, the remaining five years of your career, are you gonna be contributing to the Roth side of your 401k instead of pre-tax? Are you gonna do any Roth conversions? Are there any assets that have low cost bases that you need to harvest gains or any losses that you wanna capture and harvest losses. What about within retirement, You know, these first couple of years? Do you need to intentionally build up savings outside of retirement plans in the final stages of your career because the beginning part of retirement, that's when you're gonna be doing a lot of Roth conversions and, and planning to minimize your RMD out there in the future. So what are those tax strategies that make sense in those final few years of your working career? And then what are the tax strategies you're gonna implement early in retirement. Knowing that within the five years you plan to retire, that can help you save thousands of dollars in tax, both in your lifetime and in multiple lifetimes. So those are the six primary things that you need to start doing in order to maximize, in order to win in those final five years before retirement. But there's one other, there's, there's one bonus. And while it is indirectly related to your finances, it's not directly related, but it's just as important. The list of things that you envision doing in retirement, within five years of retirement, you need to begin doing those things. 
So whether you, ah, oh, we, we wanna start taking, we wanna do more vacations, we wanna travel more in retirement, start doing that, start sprinkling that in, in the final five years before you retire. I wanna get focused on my health, I wanna get recommitted to my health. Start doing that within those five years before you retire. You wanna do, we wanna spend more time with the grandkids or the kids, start doing that as well. I wanna have a hobby, we wanna do these certain things, start doing that within those final five years of your career. Here's why. Some of those have expenses tied to them. And if you can start working through that bucket list while you still have income coming in, we've seen it make a tremendous difference and feel uh, even more rewarding when you're doing some of those big activities while you still have income coming in, but at the end of your career when hopefully there's some flexibility and that gives you momentum going into retirement. Second, if it's focus on your health, which almost everyone as they enter retirement want to do, you want to start that with a little bit of momentum as well. Your health is directly correlated to how much you're going to enjoy and value, especially the early stages of retirement. So within the final stages of your career, get started making some healthier choices so that that catapults you into some new habits and new behaviors in retirement as you start can make it even more, even that much more rewarding. And connected with that, finding a hobby. Most people that enjoy retirement, uh, they're retiring to something, not retiring from something. Well, I get it. We, we are all retiring from our career, but what's the thing that you enjoy doing and, and, and spending your time on? Whether that's something that you've always wanted to do or maybe something that was a big part of your life and something you were passionate about earlier in your career or earlier in your life when you were younger that you wanna rekindle in retirement. Starting to have that purpose, starting to have that hobby, something that you're going to enjoy doing and spending your time on, starting that in the final few years of your career absolutely gives you more purpose and motivation and, and, and momentum in early retirement as well. So there you go, those are six financial items plus one bonus, ways that you can master and maximize the last five years of your working career to help you have a successful retirement. Work with your certified financial planner, build out that plan, work through each of these items as well to help you maximize these last five years before retirement and have you successfully enter retirement with confidence. Work with your CFP on that. If you don't have a CFP on your team, Contact one of my team. You can find us online, corhorn.com. That's corhorn with K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well. Or give us a call, 574 247 5898. All right, there you have it. Go on and take your next wise step in your financial life.